Hi, so we concluded the factory tour. Now let's do a short recap. So what happened first? Okay, we had this ready material. Okay, I have it here. So this is somebody's old jeans. It's been threaded, all the zippers and the patterns have been removed before it comes to us. And what happens next? The material after that is pure cellulosic material. So all the colors, all the elastins, all the polyfibers, all of that has been removed and we are landing with the pure cellulose material. After that, we went to Valkyakoski, where we saw how the carbomate is made. So here is the powder they created. This is carbomate. And as you can see it, I can hold it. I could even eat it. It's not hazardous at all. And what's cool about this is that you can store it, let's say for five years and use it after that. And then we came back to Espo. And what happened here was the wet spinning process. Uh, what we have now, is the liquid. This is cellulose liquid. And this is something you can use to wet spin the fibers in a wet spinning process. What you see, the real magic. And now we have the fibers. We call it infinity fibers at this stage. It's also called with carbamate fiber. It has lots of names. Maybe one day it has a very cool name, but let's see. And what is cool about this fiber is that it has very specific properties. For example, it has a very high diaptic. It takes very aggressively all tiles, and that is something that really affects the um, use of the dyes. Also, you can, of course, cut it into staple length that can be used in multiple different spinning technologies. The spinning technologies we have been trying includes, for example, ring spinning, compact ring, open end, and of course, Muracha yarn spinning. Uh, of course, it's not really ready. It's a little bit too dry, for example, because we don't have a, a cool dryers like in the big systems, but it's not a problem. You can just use that as a regular fiber, like any other fiber. Other thing that is cool, which we haven't talked about at all, is that you can, of course, choose the detex of the fiber, so really the thickness of the fiber. So it can be used in multiple different kind of applications. So we can go, for example, to the non-woven side, and I have a sample here. So this is 100% infinity fiber material. So it's like a baby wipe, which you can use. It's cool to have a different kind of applications you can use. And what we are doing now, we are concentrating on the textiles. So what happens to the fibers first is that it spins through the yarns. So here is, for example, one type of the yarn made from infinity fibers. We have been yarn spinning in multiple places, but mainly in Portugal at Innovofil and also at Linz Textiles in Austria. Of course, from the yarns, what we create is the fabrics. So we have been using knitters and uh, people that are making woven fabrics uh, to create some samples for us. So for example here, we have rolls of 100% IFC. So the orange one and the blue one, those are both 100% IFC. These are knitted at Eusebio in Italy. Other one is uh, finished with enzymes and other one has a very traditional finish. And here is also one fabric that was made at Eusebio. This is French terry. As you can see, there's a loop in here. And also it has a very nice touch and feel. This is not 100% IFC, but this is uh, 75 IFC, 25 cotton. And that really gives a very nice cottonish feel to the fabric. And here is actually one sample made from the French terry. So here is a hoodie which was created by our collection in Finland and for us to use in our show purposes in Premier Visions. And I think it's a quite nice one, don't you think? And then, of course, then is the denims. And denims has been, let's say, kind of like a flagship for us. So everybody is interested about the den denims. Uh, what is cool about this fiber is that it really creates the cottonish feel. And the cotton-like feel is very good in denim, of course. And this, for example, this is 50-50 denim fabric. And you can't really tell the difference from the genuine denim fabrics at all. Of course, we created 100% denim fabrics as well. So, 
this is 100% IFC. It's a bit drapey, not really like a usual denim you are used to, but something that you could wear for summer, for example. And it's it's really light, airy, and it really still has a cotton feel on it. Textina from Slovenia created us cool samples. And here is actually 50-50 woven fabric made to the man's shirt. And that is an application we are very proud of because you really don't see these quality fabrics made from the recycled fibers. And of course, still, there is the 100%. So we can do that. We can create 100% infinity fiber fabric and really sew that into a nice blouse that you can wear on women. What else Textina did? They did the printing. So they tried to use our fabrics, this 100% IFC, in their user production. And they just ran through the printer and this is what came out. So as you can see, the prints are very beautifully laid into the fabrics. And then, of course, we have other samples made from the single jerseys. There is, for example, 50-50 blend with cotton. That really is very soft, very cotton-like. Then there is the uh, same fabrics, which are now dyed in red. As you can see, it really takes the dyes very easily. Also, we have here the same orange fabric we saw earlier, and here it's made into the t-shirt. This is very, very nice, very light. You probably want to use this through whole summer. And then, what we did. There was this very cool event in Finland, and we had our interior minister, Maria Ohisalo, wearing our dress. So this is Maria's dress from that event. And that was designed by Anne-Marie Pahkala, who is a Finnish designer well known in here. And I think it works beautifully in evening gowns as well. One cooperation we did was with Weekday, which is a brand from H&M. Weekday did a very nice two-piece outfit for actor Maisie Williams. As you can see in the picture, there is a Maisie Williams wearing that in her home, and the photographer for that was her boyfriend. What will happen next is that we need to scale up. And after that, it can really end up to your wardrobe. And believe me, it will.